Hello everybody, happy Friday again. We are now back from Italy and I'm here to bring you another DIY video. Uh, thank you so much for everybody checking out last week's video. If you have not seen it already and would like to know how I made this Mickey Mouse pom-pom hat, the link will be in the eye over here somewhere for you to go and check it out. So how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is all well. We had an amazing time in Italy. Uh, we are just recovering right now. And uh, yeah, like I say, I'm gonna do another DIY video, which will be to try and recreate one of these. These are super, super famous when it comes to Tokyo Disney. These things uh, carry everything. That has a big compartment so you can put in whatever you really want. Um, and it also has a fast pass holder at the back and a little stringy thing like this and it's got a nice lanyard thing like this and it hangs around your neck and it looks amazing. So a few months back there was a sale on the UK Disney store. Now is it called the Disney shop now? I think. I think it's called Shop Disney now not Disney store online i think but anyway it's on that site and dave found this little guy uh, at a reduced cost now we i completely forgot to get this in in walt disney world when we saw it last year and um we found it online on the uk store and it was only for a few quid and dave came up with a really good idea that i was like i'm going to get on board with this is why don't you turn this into one of these and I was like, what a great idea. What's the worst that can happen? Let's go and try it out. Now, of course, I won't be able to put in a fast pass holder because this thing's reversible. So I'm going to try and create this into a coin purse and then hopefully I'll be able to attach a lanyard on it and I'll be able to use it for like when I go to like Disney on Paris or something like that. So I am no expert when it comes to textiles or design or fashion or anything like that. Um, I just kind of find little bits and pieces that I've got around my house to see if I can transform it into something amazing. I've got my needle and my thread. Um, I've also got a, a zip as well that I got from Hobbycraft. And I've got some material that is lying around. And I thought, can't be that hard, can it? If I can do a Mickey Mouse pom-pom hat, I can do one of these for sure. Shall we try it? Let's get to it. All right, we are back on the Murphy table. How am I gonna do this? So here we go. This is what I'm gonna be working with. Simba looks a little bit scared. It'll be all fine, Simba. <laughs> so let's go and cut off all of these tanks. So I've got some material that's been lying around the house. This is actually from like a pack of like fat quarters that I had. I possibly need it a little bit smaller than that. I think that might be a good, good starting point. That'd be all right. I can stuff it in there, it'll be fine. That would be dandy. Now, obviously, if you do have a um, sewing machine, this will obviously be a lot quicker. It's now done, look. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. Right, okay, now it's time to uh, cut this guy open. You gotta find the center. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh my gosh, you're not measuring anything. And you know, you, I'm, yeah, I'm not measuring anything at all. It feels very nice in there. What is in there? The incision has been made. Okay, take this off. I'm really sorry to everybody who are professionals in textiles and everything like that. I'm not a professional at all. I just kind of think if I've got an idea, I'm gonna try and do it. I'm just doing things, hoping that it's all going to go well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm stuck. Um, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Stay in! Oh no, the fluff, the fluff, the fluffening! Oh gosh, oh gosh, I've got, I've got Simba everywhere. I'm sorry Simba. I'm gonna stitch this to this and then I'm gonna put it in there. That might work.
So I want to try and create some loops. Now obviously I haven't got any of the sort of like metal hoops and stuff. So I thought about just using some bits of material and then just doubling them round like so to make a little loop and then I'll attach it to there. Put my little loops in there. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this lanyard on this. Um, on this so I've created two loops. I have got bigger lanyards like this so if you've got like a, a lanyard that only has like one hoop just put one little loop in there sort of thing um, and I think that would be that would be awesome. I'm gonna stick this in here and then sew it up and hopefully we have got ourselves a coin purse. Right, so, oh, <laughs> just need to fluff it all out. Sorry, sorry, Simba, you're still making that, that, that look on your face. <laughs> Take these bad boys off and let's see if the hooks work. Oh, lost my voice then. Let's see if the loops work. So one loop goes in here. Oh, my God. Come on, yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We have got a coin purse. You can change it to happy face and to shocked face. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. <laughs> here we go. Dave, what do you think? Dave's here. That is amazing. Oh, that's really good, babe. You've done a good job. This is where he pulls it apart now. Wait. Don't break it. Yeah, that's amazing. Tokyo eats your heart out. Yeah. That's so good. Good job, babe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so there you have it, this is my attempt of making my very own Tokyo Disney coin purse. At first I thought this was a good idea, halfway through I actually thought this isn't a good idea and then the more I continued on with it the more I was like okay I can see the picture now, I can see everything now on what I am doing. I really did think that it wasn't really going to go well at all but uh, I think this is pretty good, I think this is good first attempt. I just thought it was very good even even with me without a sewing machine or any tape measures or anything like that. I did however miss this thing uh, but I actually don't have one of those little things on hand. Do you know what a few years back um, I used to have millions of these, absolute millions of them. Now can't seem to find them anywhere so um, I just think it looks good just being plain and simple just having a little pocket. So if you enjoyed this guys give it a massive thumbs up I really really appreciate it and if you have not already click the red button down below and subscribe and to make sure to smash the bell button so that you are notified when we bring out another video like on Tuesday there will be the brand new Italy vlogs which I'm very excited to share with you guys. So if you have never ventured into Italy or if you would love to go to Tuscany, which is where we actually were, um, yeah, stay tuned for Tuesday because it's very, very exciting and we are very excited to share it with you. All right, guys, whatever you're doing for this weekend, I hope it's a good one um, and we will see you all very, very soon.